big beauty in the front. Interesting to watch how they run each other off. It's tough being a bird. Look at that fighting. It's so windy here today. And the rain has been monsoon like. Car driving by, they all turn away. <laughs> and they head right back to fighting. Because um, there's Tropical Storm Nestor. He's just giving us all kinds of wind and rain or tropical depression. I don't even know what he is. He's apparently headed for the panhandle, but the east side of him, which is our west coast of Florida, is getting weather from it. I live in Pinellas County. I live in a state that's a peninsula and a county that is a peninsula. <laughs> Very impacted by what goes on in the Gulf. Ooh, these guys are getting close to me and acting up. They got close to me and then freaked themselves out and ran and jumped in the water. I didn't even move. Mallards cleared that seed up pretty quickly. Seed, listen to me, it's oat, oats, Quaker oats. The Muscovy are much slower. I did not realize that. Oh, that guy's drinking water after eating oats. I don't blame you, those things are dry. Drink some more water for us on film. Nope, not gonna do it. people in the neighborhood feed them so sometimes they're not that hungry when I feed them. The people who live right next to the pond just moved away and they fed them in the morning and another guy feeds them at night. And in the morning she fed them seeds but they moved away so they haven't been getting their morning so this is their breakfast I guess. Their breakfast handout. <laughs> Um, the night guy f feeds them mealy worms and different things, and I think frozen corn. So they get a variety of things available. Sometimes they don't eat it. in the wind. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. This mallard, ooh, they're rough on each other. But normally they're just such a tight flock. Seem like best pals. Okay. It's a male, he's getting his colors. Females chasing them out. She just won't leave him alone. Females are brutal to that poor guy. Look how yellow her bill is. I guess they're all yellow green. Hers just seemed brighter than that. See, that one is more of an orange. That one right there is more of an orange with brown. Just 
haven't quite configured out. That's a... See, look at the difference in those two that I would think were both female male. See how one it has a yellow bill and the one in the front and the back have orange bills? And orange, they all have orange feet. And then the ones with the orange bills are just have lighter feather coverage, color, not really coverage. I don't know, I think there might either be a different type of one going on or a different maturity level. This one right here, you can see the blue. Not on that side, you can't. Turn back around, buddy. He's a yellow bill, not an orange bill. Oh, some of them are leaving us already. So, okay, I've had enough. Oh, Scully says, well, maybe not. Wait, come back, guys. You need to sign your consent form. Oh, look, you can, the sun is catching them to where you can see the purple in their feathers, the iridescence. You see that? That's really cool. I don't get to see that that often. Here goes that male I feel so sorry for. First off, buddy, you got all these hens around you, okay? What is the difference, my friend, bird watching friends, and these two orange bills? Actually, there's three orange bills and three yellow bills. Beaks, bills, whatever. I think the yellows are mallards for sure. These orangey brown ones, I'm not sure. The feather pattern looks the same. But they don't have that blue. See that little bit of blue right in there? Right there. The yellow bills have that. Uh oh, something scared everybody off. Oh, another mallard came flying in. Or, well, actually, it's a male. I think it's the same male. I think he flew off. Nope, it's a second male. It's the second male, and who is not as. He doesn't look as mature as the first male. But the female sure ran him off quick. He's back in the water. There's the two males right there. Females are just brutal to these two guys. You wanna try again? You sure, buddy? You sure you wanna do this? You just got slammed good by a female. Two of them, they tag teamed him. All right, that's enough for now. I think it's interesting to see how different each Muscovy is. So the white under that one's wings when she lifted up, or he lifted up. Just how different they all look. They are definitely like a box of chocolates. Well, the mallards look much more uniform. Hard to get them drinking on camera. There we go. It's like every time I turn on the camera, they quit. Yep. You don't like to be caught drinking, huh? I'm going to be participating in Project Feeder Watch. I'll put the link down below. So this is my bird feeder setup for this year. There's my squirrel buster, which I've had a couple of years. It has a mixture of sunflower and then the um, shellless stuff, the easy to get you, I forget the name of it, easy to feed or something. And this has the same 
Although I'm going to switch this one over probably to sunflower only. And it's a smaller squirrel buster and it doesn't bust the squirrels all that well. This one does. And then I haven't tried suet in a while, but I got a new suet holder that will hopefully keep out squirrels. I don't know about rats and hopefully it'll keep out rain. But I haven't been that successful with them in the past. But for Project Feeder Watch, I'm going to try a little of everything. And there's my hummingbird feeder. Which I don't have good luck with at all. But I am going to give it a try this year. Project Feeder Watch begins on November 9th and runs through April. You have to make a commitment to watching your feeders like two times a week, two consecutive days a week. And uh, record your findings. Like I say, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out if you're interested. But that is my setup for this year. I believe I'm going to do these four feeders. We'll see if the suet and the hummingbird last.